Greetings, art lovers. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. It inspires me to make more interesting videos for you. Eddie was born in York, England, in 1787. His father was a miller, later settling in the city as a spice bread baker. His early education was limited, and at the age of 11 and a half he left home to become an apprentice in a printing office. Although Eddie began his artistic training by copying from life and prints without formal training, his artistic potential was recognized early. His older brother and a wealthy uncle, also an artist, supported him, allowing him to begin formal training. His first place of formal study was in a plaster studio, where he copied from an ancient cast of Cupid and Psyche. This led to his enrollment at the Royal Academy in 1807, where he studied under Sir Thomas Lawrence, a renowned artist of the time. Despite early difficulties and rejections, Eddie persevered with his art. His first serious recognition came to him in 1820 with his work Coral Seekers, which was exhibited at the Royal Academy. It was followed by a painting of Cleopatra's arrival in Cilicia in 1821, which also attracted much attention. His painting, The Fight, A Woman Interceding for the Defeated, and a series of three paintings on Judith brought him even greater acclaim. Eddie made several trips to Italy and France to study the works of the old masters, which had a great influence on his style. He was particularly influenced by the Venetian school of painting. His later works reflected his admiration for the old masters, combining their influence with his own style. One of his most famous paintings is Joan of Arc, which he considered his last epic. Despite his declining health in the last years of his life, he put all his energy into this work, which demonstrated both his immense talent and signs of physical decline. After completing Joan of Arc, Eddie retired to York in 1848, having reached a comfortable level of success. One of his last wishes was to see a collection of his paintings. Despite logistical difficulties, he was able to collect most of his works for an exhibition in London in the summer of 1849. Later that year he passed away. As a painter, Eddie was especially known for his skill and sense of color, although his drawing was often criticized as wrong. Despite this, he holds a firm place in the pantheon of English painters, celebrated for his unique style and determination in the face of adversity. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.